Hmm, now the car's at a transport place, heading out to Taiwan, or who knows what, but hard race is from Taiwan, so they're gonna receive the car over there, race it or do something with it, but it's not going back to Australia for some time, so. And all the parts and stuff, you can see the wing. It's been mounted for transport already. Pretty interesting how they have to do this. Crazy. All the wheels. Some wheels here that they never used. That's yours too? This is all your stuff? It's like a wrecking yard, but also they're like the ones in charge of getting the car ready for transport. They have a loading dock here, as you can see. The wild stuff. Last time we're gonna see this car for a while. Fastest Hondas in the world. Let's see all the stuff that they have laying around here. I guess most of the stuff is either being stored here or they're old used parts going to Taiwan. It's the EG just chilling here, packed with stuff. Like some like Toyota Estima headlights. Go look at this 8.6 over here. over here but there's actually a really nice Chueno that we're gonna look at oh shit the VW bus too this is the different one I have to check out the brakes eight days now what the fuck yeah it's got, it's got three. <laughs> oh all right, so let me pause the video right here so I can give you guys some context. We've never done this before, but instead of typing it out, I figure I'd, I'd rather just stop the video here and tell you. Normally when I kind of uh, go to new locations to, to look at cars or wherever, a different shop or whatever, I don't film right away, just out of respect for the, the shop owners and stuff because I don't know if they want their stuff filmed or not. So I didn't bother filming when I first got there, but when we first pulled up, there was actually another 8.6 parked in the exact same spot. It was black and white, same color, same wheels and everything, but it wasn't 11, it was a Trueno, so it had the pop-up headlights. So um, I didn't even notice that the car had changed. That's why David in this clip is telling me that this is a completely different car, because we really had no idea that the guy that owns the car had so many of them. So, I mean, at a glance, it looked like it was the same car, but in fact, it was a completely different one. Even had different seats and everything, so. I'll post a picture of it right here, just for context, so you guys know what the hell we're talking about. But yeah, that's what he's referring to when he says this is a completely different one, so. All right, back to the clip. Mm. It's like zero context of the video because I didn't get video of the other oh, okay. one, so it makes no sense now. I guess there's context now. Hey, it's Sixers, which are identical to each other, uh -huh. which are in pristine condition. The other one had T37Vs too. Yeah. This one just has Original 15 inch TEs. I looked over and I had to check out the car. I was like, yeah, yeah check it out before. <laughs> but it's a different car. <laughs> uh, shit, he has like uh, Suchio seats in here. Damn, this thing is fucking mint, dude. <laughs> it's like. It even smells new. <laughs> These are the KG Suchio DK Drift King seats. 
pants with it in that signature green of this green seat that he wears. God, this thing is fucking mint. Running FCON V Pro, as they all should. Hmm. I literally had another one that was just here. Just as clean, just had a different set of wheels on it. And the uh, endless brakes. This one has 15 inch TEs, but with APs. I just love his 8.6s. Oh, wow. And the COP setup. The 20 valve? Maybe? The wrinkle red valve cover is a nice touch. ITBs. Hello. This thing is also 11. <laughs> mm. <laughs> On the next episode of Drunk Assholes in 86s. <laughs> <laughs> I swapped the EG for this. Yeah. I'm pretty happy. That's good. The EG's now in the wrecking yard. Actually, I'm right swapping the EG for that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe two of them combined. Yeah. Two for one deal. Damn. I think they're so mint. Standard completely. It's just uh, wheels and suspension oh. and exhaust. Somebody got a wild shoe, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's been around here. Yeah. It's pretty cool. We don't have that many of these in Australia, huh? Not this model. They're all the, fucked, huh? Not with the boot. Mm. We only got mainly the hatch rods. Oh shit. There's weds on it. Yeah. 14, I think. Yeah, 15. RS5s. 15s, right? 14. 14s? Yeah. You made this in a 14? Yeah, pretty rare. Look at it. Holy oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. That's it, because it says Road to Victory, but they use the wrong road. Oh, <laughs> uh, like, yeah, road my bike. <laughs> oh shit, it's like a whole thing. What's it say? Proceed to the world of racing, the wheels on which wed sport road to victory. Oh no, that's right. If you read the whole thing, it makes sense. <laughs> one pile. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Standard teeth and everything. That's yeah. Cool. I have some time before my flight today, five in the afternoon. And since we're in the Chiba area, we're in Chiba with Chiba. Right. <laughs> we have some free time, so I decided to check out RWB, which is in Chiba right here. I passed by it maybe a couple days ago. Went from the hotel to Chiba shop, and then I noticed it was here. So since I have some free time, I might as well check it out. I don't think they're, they're not open today, and I don't know why they need to be open anyways, but... This is the world famous... Rawwell. Big roof. You can see all the cool stuff that they have. Just like a random work wheel here. This is the new one. We got 993. All those cars just sit outside all winter. This is Natty Dread Jr. Stella is right here. to actually be here to actually see all this stuff undisturbed the hours say they open at 12 but we all know that they don't need to open ever Violetta 
the 930. It's Dodge van. It's a K car that somebody owns. This one. Looks like they're either working on it or they gave up on it. This one's a new one that I haven't seen before. color. die here. It's like literally just like you can just drive by on the street here in Chiba and you'll run into RWB. Very random but also incredibly cool. This is on tow trailer. It's old parts. It's pretty interesting to think that this guy's just blown up and like makes a fortune now. And his shop space has just never changed. It's always been the same place. So, the funny thing is, I didn't think anybody was here today because, you know, the doors are closed or whatever. But sure enough, like walking around a few minutes later, like here in a car comes out. It just looks like he just woke up. Probably just slept here all night. Just like what we do at the shop anyways. But he woke up and then he saw us and then he was just like, oh yeah, I gotta go to the bank. I'll be back in 10 minutes. So originally I was gonna leave, but now I feel bad. I feel like I should wait for him to come back from the bank now. And then I guess we'll see what happens. Pretty interesting. This goes with Japan, I guess. So as it turned out, he actually did come back, and now he invited us inside.
I don't know if this is a secret project or not, but here you go. The spy shots. <laughs> Such a cool place. Mm. Oh, so this is the upstairs area. It's like a loft. A couch. Bed for customers. She I can stay here. Next <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna stay here next time. Yeah. Airbnb. Yeah. <laughs> Some kits ready to ship or for him to come to you, I guess. Shit. Try not to break anything while I'm here. Hey, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Wow, very cool. Very nice guy. Yeah, good night. In the US, he never talks, mm -hmm. just smokes cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Unexpected. 
very cool last minute visit. Thanks to Mr. Akira Nakai. <laughs>